ah, this is solved from DSI Dental Solutions. At my previous blog, I told that the majority of the implant success lays in the surgeon hands. So today, let's talk about the most significant part of the implant surgery process, the drilling protocol. As the producer of implants, my belief is that the clinical results are improved when drills are replaced often and kept sharp. In fact, this is a critical factor. Our recommendation are to replace the drill every 30 uses. Simple physics. Dull drill generates much more friction. Friction generates heat. Heat could lead to the bone necrosis, cellular damage, and replacement of the bone tissue with fat. While replacing the drills regularly enables a much safer procedure and minimizes the implant failure rate. So the rule number one for the best results always stay sharp. Our newest SK006 professional surgical kit contains all the instruments needed for the surgical and prosthetic phases of the implantation. By default, it's pre-filled for work with the internal hex, regular or narrow implants, but can be customized for RP and P conical connection per request. Here you can see the line of initial drills that participate in every drilling protocol. Going back to what I told you earlier, those drills participate in every drilling protocol, so need to be replaced regularly. There is the marking drill, lens drill, pilot drill, drill extender, and the Lindman bore. Sharpness of those drills is a K factor. To minimize the friction, penetrate the bone cells easily, therefore allowing minimum damage. The pilot drill is also available in a DLC black coating option. You can see it in a Lindman bore, for which is it critical. On the top, you can see ratchet torque for the prosthetics from 10 to 35 Newton centimeter. On a second level of the kit, you can see additional ratchet torque for the fixture insertion. It has the dynamometer key for torque selection from 25 to 100 Newton on centimeter. But let's go back to the main, most interesting part of this kit, which is 25 DLC step and stop drills with diamond like carbon coating. Those are ultimate drills with a shape proportional to the implant diameter permitting fast and extremely precise implant osteotomy preparation. As you can see, the implant real shape in the apical and the coronal part are different. It's not cylindrical. The idea behind those drills were to build something that will mimic the shape of the implant so the osteotomy will fit it precisely. In this example, I took the 3.75 on 11 implant and now take a look on the drill that will be used as a final drill for this implant. A small step on the end of the drill fits the implant shape like a glow. That's rule number two. Achieve a precise fit of the implant osteotomy to the implant brand you will use. For the DSI implants, we recommend using SK006 kit with the regular drills and of course those 25 DLC black diamond-like carbon coated step and stop drills.